Yeah. All right, everyone. Everyone having a good, well, I should say good day, but <laughs> a lot of you probably haven't even woken up yet. Well, you will be if you're watching this. You've got to be awake to watch it, I suppose. Well, you could be watching it while you're asleep. You could be sleep watching. I don't know who you are. Could be anything. It could be anything going on in this world these days. Right. Oh, I moved it. I moved it because I come here, come here last night and had a little look on the radio. Not this radio. On the, I had a little skip around on a few bands, uh, listening to a bit of Morse code actually. Uh, I like listening to Morse code. It's quite relaxing. Anyway, so okay, so 16, 16th of December. Here we go. I'm ready to rock and roll today. It's already raining outside. Still pitch black, obviously, but it's... Ooh, what we got here? This is exciting. Look at this piece of excitement. Looks looks like a looks like a caterpillar. Look at that. Everybody loves a caterpillar. Caterpillar. Right, all right, come on in. I'm getting a lot of positive comments about these videos, so I'm, I'm glad I'm, I'm I'm glad some people are enjoying it. Obviously, there'll be people that ain't, but um. As of now, so far, the people that don't like these videos are, are keeping themselves quiet, which is all right. Um, but it's, sometimes it's good to have a bit of hate, I suppose, isn't it? Kind of gives you inspiration to carry on and just annoy them even more. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Anyway, uh, speaker amplifier. Oh, bloody brilliant. Oh, I'm well happy about this. This is a speaker amplifier. This is going to make it sound a whole lot better. Not that it really works. Um, but, it is, it's, you know, we'll see how it goes. So, day 16, speaker amplifier. Sorry about my reading, by the way. Sometimes I watch these videos back during the day and I think, bloody hell, man. That's a, I bet they're having trouble understanding what I'm trying to say here, but it's all right. I'm, I'm sure some of you are on the same wavelength as me. Not that I'm on any. Where is it? There it is. Right. You will find an MC34119 integrated speaker amplifier behind door number 16. This IC integrated circuit, in brackets, has eight connection pins. In order to fit the IC into the board, the eight pins must be aligned parallel. As to begin with, they point outwards slightly. Do they? Um, where are we? There we go. Press all connections on one side onto a hard surface at the same time. So they are bent to an angle of exactly 90 degrees. Then place the IC onto the breadboard as eight connections are inserted at the same time. More force is required than that for other parts. The IC must not be inserted the wrong way around. It is particularly important that the connections for the operating voltage are connected correctly. Pin six should be at the positive terminal and pin seven at the negative terminal. Incorrectly connecting the battery voltage can destroy the IC. The amplifier requires two resistors to determine the amplification. With two identical resistors, the output voltage is the same as the input voltage. Nevertheless, the radio is slightly louder now because the receiver module has a lower load and provides a higher signal voltage. Only a small 100 nanofarad coupling capacitor is required at the amplifier input. The 100 nanofarad electro yeah, uh, electrolytic capacitor is used at the output. Brilliant! Well, this is absolutely fantastic. Um, I like, we only seem to have, um, yeah, I, I reckon I've lost, I've lost a part somewhere. I, I don't know what's happened to it. Um, I don't remember getting another one out. Um, I mean, it's not to worry, I don't think, because somewhere, I don't know what I've, I don't know what I've done with them. But I had a bag. Um, I really don't know what I really don't know what what I've done with them. Uh, no, it's not in there. But I had a bag of resistors that I bought for a project um, that I was going to do next year. I had a bag of um, resistors, but I don't know what's happened to them. I seem to have lost a resistor because I've only got um, two. And this is what's this one? This is the 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7, 4.7,
Uh, yeah. And I've got two ones in there, but I'm supposed to have two 4.7s, and I don't know what's happened to it. I can't find it anywhere. Um, I have got a bag of them, so we may not be able to do the experiment with this one, because I haven't got time to go and find uh, my bag of resistors uh, as yet. But we can put this in, nevertheless. Um, there we go. So where is it supposed to go? <coughs> Pardon me. So we've got <coughs> now ah so they've changed in that around are they okay so right so this is a prop this is a proper re this is a proper reconstruction this one is right let's have a this one is a I've got to try and remember I don't know how you're going to be able to see it really so this is a proper reconstruction of it um the way you see it now isn't going to be how it is anymore. Um, we've only got uh, we've got to take out this here, um, and we've got so we take that out of there. Um, we've got to move that over. We need another jumper, so we've got to get our piece of wire, and we've got to make another jumper. Uh, do you think these videos are too long by the way? Should they be shorter for an advent video? I don't know. I, I just get a bit carried away and I just go for it. Oh dear, bit bit sleepy though. Bit sleepy this morning. Anyway, so I'll strip the end of that one off. Uh, there we go. Exit. And then Uh, you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just snipping round the end, round the um, casing of the wire. And then we've got to put another jumper uh, on the first ones here where it says 20. So it's got to go in there, and we've got to bend that round, and it's got to go in there, like that. There we go. So there's another jumper I've just put in. Um, We've got to take this other capacitor out. Uh, oh, it looks like there's another jumper that's got to go in that wasn't in there before. Right. Right then. Okay. Okay. Right, well. Alright. Okay then, so. That's one, two. Uh, so we've got one, two. So we've got two. Oh, it's just got to go in there, is it? Right, okay, and so we put that in there. Uh, and it's also got to go in the one next to it. So, one, two, and... One, two, and... So... Right. That's in there. So we've got to make another jumper as well, but I've also got to put in that resistor, but I, I, I've got to go and get the resistor, so we're not going to be able to test this one because I've got to find my little bag of resistors. Um, I've got circuit boards and all kinds of things here that I was going to use for a project next year. I've got battery holders that I'm going to use for a project next year. Um, but where my bag of resistors has gone, I have no idea. Went down and bought them especially. Anyway, so that one. Oh, so we're changing the location of that now. So that still goes in there then, but that one's now got to go in there. Probably should tin that connection up, but I think it works. So the positive has got to go on there. So the negative is one below that one. Oh, that's a negative. One below that one, so that one goes in there like that. There we go, and then the positive one is going two across. So one, two, there we go. Right, so that's what we've got so far there. 
Um, I need to put one of these resistors in. I'll put this one in because it looks like the hardest to get to. Uh, it's got to go one, two underneath there. So one, two underneath there. Okay. Be careful of my little coil that I had to make the other day. And then that's going in right so this one i need to determine where this goes so it jumps over there but how do we know there is no numbers on the pins there's no numbers on the pins so i'm just going to go by the way the writing is the writing is facing me and the writing is going to face me on here so and it's got a little drawing of it being that way around so I'm going to say that it's got to go that way. So that's like that, that's like that. There we go. There's our speaker amplifier in. And okay then, so now I can put this other resistor in. That's got to go, uh, that one goes in that one and this one goes in this one here. There we go. Right, so there we go. There's a res I need to find the other resistor, but that's the way that goes. So now we've got everything linked up as it should be, I think. Oh, I need to make one more jumper by the looks of things to go from there to there. So there's got to be a jumper that goes from here over to here. So I'll strip. I'll show you this time how I'll do it. Look, strip that goes off of there like that. I'm, I'm, I'm not a lot of people these days you know, it's the real way to get actual strippers, but I don't, I just use pliers and like that, done it for years, done it for years and years this way, and uh, works all right, see that there's no trouble there whatsoever, uh, you just got to be careful you don't pinch it too hard, oh I've got to make two jumpers, oh blimey, look at that, it's got to be two jumpers, so one's got to go from where this resistor is connected uh, on the one next to it and, and then it's got to go all the way over to the pin underneath that capacitor um, and then we've got to make another one they like making jumpers on, on these little radio builds don't they eh? They like a jumper. Right. Pardon me. Do you know what I had for breakfast this morning? Three sausage rolls and a cheeseburger. Right. So, uh, that one goes one pin above there. Lovely. And then it goes over and it connects to the pin next to the end of the coil. There we go. So, this is what we've got so far. I know the speaker wires just come out. But that's what we've got so far. We're minus one resistor because I've lost it. I don't know what's happened to it. It's probably on the floor somewhere. Um, but I've got a bank of them, so it's not the end of the world. 4.7k resistors. So, that's that. Sweet. Yeah, I think it's all, it's all in line. Aerial's poking out here. I'll have to get that and tin that up. I'll do that tomorrow, or I might do it later on. And, uh, fantastic. Well, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you tomorrow. And I uh, hope everyone has a good Sunday.